Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reading the Red today. Uh, Friday, Matthew chapter 10, uh, verse 30. And so uh, Jesus, having made the point as it relates to being someone who is in control of these things, he then decides to reiterate the point by saying to the disciples in verse 30, these words in 30, uh, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So, but meaning a reiteration of the very things that he just said, a sort of a kind of re-strengthening the argument, the very hairs of your head are numbered. And uh, for some of us, uh, that's less than others. Uh, we, we the number is less than others. So does Jesus literally mean every hair on your head is numbered? Well, he may mean that, but I don't think he does. I think what he means is that I want to really stress to you the point that God is absolutely, intently, uh, uh, absolutely involved in the affairs of life. And you are so precious to him that you are in effect he, he knows you in every detail he knows you in every facet of your identity and the question again has to be asked well god if you know me in every facet of my identity why don't you intervene when it all goes wrong why does it feel like sometimes you're so far away why are all those people who are have not repented and, and been forgiven of their sins still in that place? How comes you don't make everything good amongst everything that's bad? How comes, God? If, if we're that important to you, then how comes it ain't better than it, than, than it is? How comes, God? And that feeling of um, just, if that's like that, then how comes that's like this? And that's a real conundrum, really, because we can go through life thinking and listening to verses like like that and question, really, what, what sense does that make to us? If God knows us so well, why is it that it, it, it's so bad? If it feels so good, why is it so bad? And, and the answer primarily is because although God is positioned in that place to know everything, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, if though God is positioned in that place of, as it were, what you might call omnipresent, He's uh, omnipotent. He's uh, He's those all those special words we used to sing in those hymns at school. He's all of those things, and the reality of that is that that's who He is. That's who God is. God is that, and His capacity to understand everything finite is within him it's not within us it's within him so his ability to be in that position is absolutely true jesus is saying how god is now the benefits that that can bring to us well there are so many but the first one is that if we're disconnected from from that one who is like that then we're disconnected now god didn't make us dis make us disconnected he made us connected in the garden we were connected it's only after the fall that we were disconnected. And the fact that we're disconnected is often why we don't have that intimacy with him, that sense of covering, that oversight. And even when we become Christians, there's a growing process towards recovering, as it were, back to what it was when we was in the garden before sin came into humanity. So God is all of that. But our, as it were, distance from God means that so often we can't benefit from what God is because we are so far away from him. And God wants to bring us back to him. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday morning.